Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't filmed in a hot minute, which is practically what I say every video because I'm so bad at filming. So today I thought I'd film a schoolies tips and tricks video. So just pretty much a video dedicated to the class of 2017. Um, or any toolies that are going to schoolies. Haha, <laughs> rhymes. <laughs> I wrote down all these tips and tricks before, um, after I came back from schoolies last year and then I've saved them up so I can film them this year. It's like when I was going to schoolies I was like what do I bring? What do I do? SOS. So this is for everyone who's feeling like that at the moment. If anyone doesn't know what schoolies is, schoolies is just like a week-long celebration after you've graduated down normally at the Gold Coast. There are some other like places and stuff that people go to but Gold Coast is usually the main one because that's pretty much where like everyone goes. So yeah, um, it's just like a week of partying. So yeah, let's get into it. So first one, this is kind of just a boring one, but kind of just like a thing you should know. If you're planning on bringing food, like don't, because my group, we brought like so much food. We're like, yeah, everyone will cook a meal each night and we'll eat it. You'll try and eat the food you brought on the first night. And then after that, it's just like takeout because there's like KFC, Macca's, other restaurants and fast food joints down on this um Cavalab. so you literally don't end up eating any of the food you bring i was just like a little like scavenger so at the end of schoolies everyone's like who wants this food i was like i'll take it i'll take it so i literally just left with the same stuff that i brought there's like a woolworths and or something down there anyway so if you don't bring food it's not the end of the world if you need snacks you can just get them there but two about spending money I'm on like Facebook advice pages and stuff and there's always people saying like oh how much money should I take to schoolies is this much enough blah 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 I took 300 and I literally spent like a hundred of it and that was mainly just on food and because I was like shouting some people food so that's why I got up to 100 people like oh yeah bring it I brought a thousand and I'm like for what literally what did you buy like I didn't go shopping or anything because I was like I don't have any room in my luggage anyway, so $1,000 really isn't worth bringing. I brought $300, that was plenty, unless you're going to go and spend $800 on alcohol, which you shouldn't do. Um, you really don't need more than a couple hundred bucks, and that's just like safety money. I had a few friends who didn't, they weren't like, either couldn't like afford or they didn't want to do like the whole week of schoolies so they just went and rented an airbnb um for a few days and they still pretty much got the spirit schoolies experience so like if you're renting like a little house or something it either will like be a little bit further away from everyone else and the hotel that i stayed at like the all the people who went to schoolies from my school was in the same hotel so if you're in an airbnb you just won't really be like as close to the people that you're usually hanging out with that have gotten like hotels and stuff but like it should be right because you're like you kind of just chill in each other's hotels and each other's apartments anyway so yeah um so schoolies um they have lockout periods so that's like if you don't know what lockout period is it's um at certain time that after that certain time you can't get into someone else's hotel or hotel, someone else's apartment if you're not staying there yourself. So they did it for us like it, they sometimes did it later, sometimes did it early, sometimes it was later at like 5 p.m., sometimes it was early at like 3 p.m., which was like kind of sucked. I didn't really have that problem because pretty much everyone I knew was staying in the same hotel as me anyway. Um, but like at the hotel, I stayed at the Chevron and there are three different towers of the chevron so like my boyfriend stayed in one tower and then i was in a different tower and then like apparently the security guards like memorized our faces and they're like yeah you're not staying in this you're not in this tower so you can't come up and we're like um sorry what do i look like dead at the moment i feel like i do i don't know my hair's just a mess and i need to wash it asap rocky but anyway like thought of this plan and because all of the towers they all meet you can all meet at the pool okay we'll meet on the pool level you'll just come from your tower to my tower 
and then we'll all be sweet. I was just like chilling in the like near the elevators of mine and waiting for him to like come to the door to get into the tower. And then there was like a security out near the pool and he broke was on the phone to me at the time and the security card was like, oh, what are you doing to him? And he was like, oh, I'm just on the phone to my mom, just have to get away from all the noise. And he was like, oh, okay. So then he was like, just pretended. He was like, kind of just like chilling, walking around and like, yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'll chuck the key just outside of the um, door and then you just sit on the like floor and just like chill with the plants or something and then get into the tower. And then he was like, okay, and then it took like a solid 10 minutes before we finally got up to the room and I was like, oh my god, S-O-S. But yeah, so if you're gonna, if you want people in your room, then you need to get them in before lockout period or they're not, they're probably not gonna get up. But then if you also, if you get them in before lockout period, but then you want to leave the hotel room, then you're not gonna be able to get them back up again because there's just security guards everywhere. If you're like from a different hotel you can like try and get into the hotel just like be confident and act like you're actually staying there so just be like oh hey mama and don't go in big groups that's like a major tip off when you're like going in a group of like 10 then they're like okay there's like a party going on or something that's a problem when like pairs like split up so just be like okay you guys go in we'll follow in a minute later that's just like just do that because otherwise you're just not going to get in a hotel and you have like an apartment like pretty much everyone else on your floor is going to be also at schoolies because I'm pretty sure when the like booking people they try and group everyone together so they're not disturbing like like residents and stuff that are actually staying in the hotel so like make friends with the people on your floor you can have like floor parties real chill my mom made me like brownies and they're like normal brownies or they weren't even brownies it was like chocolate slice and then the people on my floor like because our room, because we didn't really eat our food, so the people on our floor just was like d d devouring, devouring the brownies. And then one of the people were like, can you tell your mom these are the effing best brownies? They're so good. And I was like, okay. The chick that like couldn't find, she like came to our door and she's like, sorry, can I use your phone? Because I've been locked out of my room. And then I'm like, okay. And then she was like, messaging her friend and like I still have those messages on my phone and it's like a selfie from her like drunk friend and I'm like <laughs> well there's obviously gonna be so many police there because they're trying to keep everyone safe trying to make sure like all the illegal things aren't happening police aren't stupid they know people are drinking but they're trying to contain it to make sure everyone's safe don't like piss them off because they're actually nice like, I got a photo with one of them so if I can I'll try and put it on the screen here just trying to look out for you just like the red frog people are and they're always like at the beach parties or they come up to like your hotel and stuff to make sure everyone's all good feed your water feed your red frogs they have like pancakes as well and then you can like order pancakes to your room just so that they know that you're eating stuff so yeah so they're really nice as well and they'll like dance with you and party with you on the beach D floor yeah, because they're just trying to make sure that you are all Gucci. So they have schoolies also, like the schoolies.com or the schoolies um, organizer people. They organize like beach parties. So there's beach parties pretty much like every night, I think. Um, they're kind of boring. So I'd say try and have a little bit of alcohol before you go to them. That's like my, it's not very, uh, wise suggestion but it's like it makes it a bit more fun because they're kind of a bit lame also bullies.com when you book you can all um opt to buy the 75 dollar or something all ages party pass or something and that gets you into three parties that are on different nights do not buy it literally just don't bother it's such a waste of money i didn't go to any of them my friends all bought the party passes i think only one of my friends went to one of them and it was like, eh, I think. So, literally, don't waste your money. There's no point. Um, am I in focus? Hopefully. I don't have my glasses on, I don't have contacts in, so I can't see nothing. Um, but yeah, so, when you book on schoolies.com, you can also choose to buy the schoolies singlet. I reckon you should get it, because that's what I practically lived in while I was at schoolies because it's just like an oversized singlet 
chuck it over your togs, chuck it over, wear it with shorts, wear it with skirt, whatever. And you can personalize it, put your name on it. It was like 25 bucks. And I was like, yeah, why not? Um, pretty much gone through all of the stuff that I wrote down on my phone last year. We're going to be bringing alcohol, brr, if, okay, sorry, I'm not very good, role model. But if you're going to be bringing alcohol, buy it before you go and just like stuff it in your suitcase. They don't check your suitcases. Well, at least where I stayed, they didn't check the suitcases because if they're checking every single person's suitcase, it's going to be the longest check-in time ever. So literally it doesn't matter. My, cause my parents helped like drove me and my boyfriend to schoolies and then they helped um, us like take all the stuff up, like the food and our bags and everything up to the hotel room. So, and he had to, he had bought all this alcohol for his friends, massive loads of like beer and everything like that. And then my parents were just like carrying that up to the room and they didn't care. So yeah. If you have 18 year old friends and they're trying to buy you alcohol, they're obviously going to be a lot stricter and they're going to be on the lookout for like, if there's people just waiting outside, waiting for their friends to get alcohol, then they're going to be like, um, are you buying this for this? And then they're not going to sell them it loads. Literally don't overpack. You pack your togs, pack your shorts, pack a shite ton of thongs, pack a hat, pack your sunnies and some shirts, but, and your makeup. But other than that, literally don't overpack because you're probably going to end up re-wearing the same thing anyways. So yeah, don't make too much noise because they do have security guards doing checks like, and like they aren't lying when they say if you are too loud or something, you will be evicted because like I saw like heaps of people, not heaps, but like quite a few people sitting down in the lobbies with their bags, waiting for their parents to pick them up because they just got evicted from the hotel room. So don't be like pains in the asses. And if they tell you to shut up, shut up. Oh, first day of schoolies, literally while people are still checking in, someone filled a condom up with water, dropped it down from their um, balcony and it shattered the, there was like a sh like, it was going into the chevron and there was just like a glass roof just to provide people with like shelter and stuff and the condom smashed through that made a massive hole and there was just glass everywhere and I was like we've literally been here for like four hours how lit are you don't throw stuff from your balconies don't hang off your balconies don't be one of those idiots these are my wise words don't do anything to put yourself at risks so watch your drinks, don't hang off a balcony, don't take anything from people you don't know. So don't take drugs, don't take drinks. Um, if you're going back to someone's hotel room, make sure a friend is with you. Don't just go back to some random guy or girl's hotel room and just be like, oh yeah, Scully's hookups. Please don't do that because you don't know what might happen and you don't want to put yourself in an unsafe situation. Boom. Yeah, that's just my little... Please just stay safe, have fun, stay lit. This is just a good week. I'd go back again if I could, but I'm not going to be a toolie because I'm not that lame. Thanks for watching. If you want to, I have two schoolies vlogs as well from last year. So I will link them down below, part one and part two. They're both pretty tame because I didn't want to make them massive embarrassment of myself on the internet. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, bye! I look like a bald eagle with a massive forehead.